classic. That is all. This is your collection kit. Sharpie pen. And we have litmus paper. So this is the specimen kit. There's different ways to collect the water. This was from tap water. I turned it on for 10 seconds. I let it run. And then I put the container under. From that container, you pour 10 milliliters onto the red, 10 milliliters onto the blue, record the results, finish. So when the CPR came through, and we're going to learn about the history of the CPR, they decided, these Swiss mountaineers decided, well, we're going to recreate what we have in the Alps. Sound associated with it. It sounds like rolling thunder, but it's got a, a density that cloud and atmosphere can't have because it has different properties. So when you hear that, that is a constant sound that happens in the mountaintops. So this is water from the cave. This is the only place you can touch the hot water here. Does anyone know why? Because there's a number of endangered species in the area in touch with water to Absolutely.
friends, this Quest BC experience has been absolutely amazing and surreal. And yes. so far, the like the first four days of our quest been together, it's been really good and amazing. And I feel like we've already built a community together. Definitely. So hi, I'm Michael Ross. I'm one of the founding teachers of Quest BC. Uh, and this is a, a program built for learners. Um, and why I mean that, like teachers and students uh, sort of learn along the way. To me, Quest BC um, is really about experience and um, through experiences we can gather wisdom and uh, I feel like a, a, a coach in that avenue and uh, there's a lot of beauty and um, wisdom that we are exploring and um, I'm just really grateful for the community that's forming and um, the quality that's coming through and the relationships to each other, uh, to this place called Canada and BC, and also the relationship inwards where we're trying to develop all of those relationships. So yeah, I'm just really honored to be part of it and um, grateful that people are in it and I hope that it lasts a very long time. And hi, my name is uh, Krista Mars. I'm one of the teachers with uh, Quest BC. So my responsibilities include teaching geography and environmental science and English. Um, when Mr. Ross and I got together, we had a vision of what experiential learning could be and what it would be like to take the, a group of kids, combine them together and take them outside. And what we've experienced in the last four days has far surpassed um, any of my expectations. Um, there's a couple moments that uh, will stand out for me forever. Um, I have almost like a best teaching moment. We walked up to the tea hut, we walked over to the side and we sat on the scree um, and we had a teaching moment and as we looked out across the glaciers, um, one of the activity happened and it was unbelievable to watch my face because I was so excited to see it for the first time ever and the faces of the kids having the learning come alive. And then as a community, um, at the fire, it's unbelievable to see how connected the kids are, not just to one another, to what we're doing, and uh, this is the way to do it. Um, the best teaching I've ever experienced. Hi, I'm Emily Gonzalez, and my experience today has been so amazing, climbing to the top with all these people and having this great experience to share with everyone. Climbing to the top was just breathtaking altogether, and finally getting to the top was amazing, and it was just the greatest relief you could feel, especially getting to lie down after that hike. I'm Karen Bouchard. Uh, my Quest BC experience so far has been absolutely amazing. It's so different from any other schooling experience in like an amazing way where the connection you get with people over, we had a four and a half, five day trip and the connection I've had with people has been the same as you would gain over a year of normal schooling. Hi there, I'm Natasha Halchuk and I just wanted to express my gratitude for how my experience in Quest has gone so far. So far, I have grown in every category of my life through social, expanding with new people that I never thought I'd actually be able to connect with. I've learned so much about myself and about what I'm capable of. As you can see, we're at the top of a mountain now, and I've also survived camping out in the wilderness, and I'm not hurt yet. So this is amazing. It's such an accomplishment, and I'm just loving it to the fullest. So thank you. Uh, hi, my name is Joshua Sunvik. I'm a teacher intern at University of British Columbia Okanagan. I'm doing my internship with the Quest BC Experiential Learning Program. Um, I got into education because in my grade 11 year I took a outdoor education program that really gave me a sense of community and belonging and taught me um, new ways to look at the world, new perspectives. and. I feel blessed to have this opportunity to be involved in Quest to create these experiential learning opportunities for our students that are authentic and genuine and we get to be out here in this incredible place um, and connect learnings of the classroom um, to learnings of real life and give them real authentic learning experiences. Um, I've been interested in cross-curricular learning for a long time and uh, in this program we really try to draw everything together um, with a lot of character development as well. And I think there's something really powerful here. I think throughout this program, we're gonna see some really, really amazing things happen. So I just wanna express gratitude first and foremost, um, but I think there's some, some cool things happening. 
Hey, my name is Kyle Arends, and I'm a student teacher with Quest BC. Uh, couldn't ask for um, a more amazing internship uh, to be with Mike Ross and Krista Mars, uh, and my uh, co-teacher intern, uh, Josh Sundvik, has just been so incredible. Uh, the students have just been amazing. Uh, my experience with Quest BC so far has been, you know, we had to do all this work um, planning over top over the summer and all these uh, field trip forms and you know laying out itineraries and safety and backup plans and then now we're here and we've just had an amazing first four or five days uh, such rich community with the kids um, so many amazing bonds that um, just naturally happen when you're spending time on a bus together when you're spending time uh, camping together preparing food together and then you're out in the classroom uh, learning together and there's been at least two or three times, even just in the first five days, that you know we didn't have um, you know a planned learning for this given moment. But that moment appeared because we were on the side of a mountain, and uh, you know uh, the glacier began to break, and we you know we hear this amazing uh, sound, and the students are uh, faces are glowing um, as Mrs. Mars just teaches. Um, and yeah, or we're, we're on uh, the skywalk and there's this amazing cantilever beam and I'm sharing, you know, structural engineering perspective and that wasn't, that wasn't planned, but uh, because the environment is so rich that we're in, we've been able to have these amazing teachable moments, seems like over and over and over again and to have the kids so excited um, about the community aspect of it uh, and the relational aspect of it. Um, and then to have these rich propagations then to bring back to the classroom to have uh, rich learning with uh, back in the classroom before we go out on our next adventure. So it's been awesome. Uh, couldn't ask for um, a better first four or five days of an internship and I look forward to uh, the rest of uh, QBC uh, number one. Thanks. QBC! You can count on me like one, two, three. I'll be there. I know. Yeah. I'm doing it. Woo! Woo! That's what friends are supposed to do. Oh yeah. Ooh. Community, adventure, friendship, exploration, home, happiness, home. beauty, <laughs> trusting, fun, cool. wild, good, tired, <laughs> fun, connections, family, exciting, fun, collaborating, friendship, friendship. Happiness. Exploring. Uh, adventure. Love. Four, three, two, I'll be 